Hey everyone. I have a big announcement to make. A create your own book competition has opened yesterday. Your stories can be about anything. But when you are done, please be sure to submit these here. May the best story win. Wow. That's so cool. And look, it's due by May 16th. That's months from now. What do you think, David? Wanna sign up for that? Huh. I don't know. I never wrote a story before. I would probably need longer than May 16th to complete that. You never know until you try. You know, I want to sign up, but I don't know if I feel ready to enter the competition. That's okay, take your time. Trust me, I'm trying my best not to rush into making decisions. Especially after the science club. Oh yeah, you're out of that club, right? Yeah, I left a few weeks ago. I think you should join the newspaper club. I'm in it. We're the voice of the school. You guys just promote stuff like events and clubs, right? Correct. They give us all cameras to take pictures around the school for the paper. In fact, since we don't have a lot of members right now, you're guaranteed to get a camera. Awesome. Not to mention, we have pizza parties every Friday. Okay, okay, where do I sign? <laughs> Meet me after school is over. I'll take you to our club room. So that's what we do in the newspaper club. We meet every Tuesday and Friday after school. Do you want to join us? Well, I've always been a fan of taking my own photos. My brother Andy and I did it all the time in middle school. So, you can count me in. Wonderful. Welcome to the club, David. Here's your camera. Awesome. I bet this is gonna be fun. Thanks for taking me to your club. I can't wait to start using this thing. No problemo. And don't worry. Our first assignment is to take pictures of the gardening club and the big basketball game after school. Hey, David. What's up? Oh. Hey girls. Nothing much. My friend Natalie just helped me join the newspaper club. It was honestly one of the best decisions of my life. We're gonna visit one of the other clubs, and go to the game later today to get some cool pictures for the school newspaper. Wow. That's amazing. There she is. Does she think I forgot about what happened? She's gonna pay for what she did to me. Wait a minute, who is that guy they are talking to? Oh no, he's coming this way. Your siblings are so nice. No wonder why you all have such a good relationship. Yeah. I'm so lucky to have them as my older siblings. Especially Andy and Sophia. He's one of Sophia's younger brothers. Wow, didn't know that. Wait, this is perfect actually. If I did something to him, maybe Sam will finally realize what she done to me. She'll have no one to blame but herself for what will happen to this loser freshman. Oh, there he is. I finally have another chance to talk to him. But what do I say when I go over there? Looks like he's gonna be playing tonight. He's got his soccer uniform on and everything. Maybe I should talk about that. Okay, I think I'm ready. I hope you okay, Bruce. Oh. Um, uh, hi, what's up? Nothing really, just wanted to come by to say hi. And you? Been okay. I'm just getting ready for a soccer game. Hey wait a minute, aren't you in my geometry class? You're like one of the only freshmen there. Yeah, that's me. Wow, no wonder how you knew my name. I figured you seemed familiar. You just never speak in class. Wow, I can't believe he remembers me. Maybe this might be a son. That's okay, it's usually like that with the freshmen. They're always the unnoticed underdogs. Right, Robert? You got that right. <laughs> Ugh, look who's over there. It's Caleb. Remember the time he was talking trash about our team? Please, he can go. Himself. He's just jealous that I'm smarter, more popular, 
and more handsome than he'll ever be in his lifetime. And guess what? He's not the captain of our team, he's never even played soccer in his life, so he can't say. <laughs> I'm worried now, I've never seen him act like this before. This side of him makes him look so mean-spirited, so arrogant, and just, so narcissistic. This is awesome. I didn't know you were such a good cameraman, David. Really? I thought I messed up the last few pictures. No, these came out perfectly. You did such a good job. Awesome. Thanks, Stanley. Ready to get the pictures from the basketball game? You bet. Let's go. This honestly has to be one of our best works yet. Great work team. Huh? What time is it? What? 8.05? Oh no. I'm late. Come in. Oh, hey David. What brings you here? Mrs. Johnson, I... I have bad news. What is it? It's this. Oh dear. How did this happen? I slept past my alarm, so I was trying to get here on time, but I tripped on something and the camera fell in the middle of the road and... Let me guess, a car ran over it. <sighs> yes. I'm really sorry, Mrs. Johnson. It's okay, but David, you need to be more careful next time. This is school equipment. <sighs> you know what this means, right? You need to pay the school for them to get a new camera. Yeah. How much is it? It's $200. What? $200? Yes, cameras are very expensive. You have until the end of the school year to pay this off. It's so that you can be able to participate in club activities again. I understand. Well, I got to go now. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. There you are. David, I was looking for you everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just talking to Mrs. Johnson about my camera. Huh? What's wrong with it? It's broken. What? How? It's a long story. The point is I have to pay $200 before the school year is over. What are you gonna do to pay it off? I honestly don't know. I have to think of something on my way home. <coughs> hey Noel. Hey Paris. Did you guys miss me? Hey David. Long time no see. How's things going? Oh hey Daniel. Nothing much. Just a rough day at school. Oh shucks. Sorry to hear that. Well, we all have those days. Cheer up, I bet tomorrow will be better. Ah. Speaking of tomorrow, I got to get ready. My wife and I are gonna go on vacation for the next few weeks. It's our anniversary. Really? Congratulations! Thanks. The only problem is that we don't have anyone who will stay with the cats while we're gone. We might have to cancel our trip if we don't find someone by tonight. It's such a shame though. My wife and I were looking forward to the Miami beaches. Maybe there's still hope for your trip. I always pass by your house whenever I'm walking home from school. I don't mind watching the cats while you're away. Huh, that might work out well. After all, you do see the cats every day. 
You know what? It's a deal. I'll give you $110 for the next three weeks. Awesome. I promise I won't let you down. Eat up little guys. Hey David, how's Operation Camera going? Pretty well actually. I was able to make $110 for my neighbors after feeding the cats for three weeks. That's wonderful. We're already halfway to our goal. Oh, I think I have something that can help us out even further. My friend's parents are looking for a babysitter for her little sister. Awesome. Sign me up. Looks like we are going to make it after all. Well, this is it. You ready to win? Please. I was born ready. Oh man. Look at the time. We got to hurry to the locker room or else we're going to be late. And besides, I can never be late for some old fashioned butt kicking. They'll see that they messed with a supreme soccer player. You got that right. I can't wait to see you cream those losers.